11, 14 says, Therefore, the Lord himself will give a sign. See, the virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was already pregnant through the Holy Spirit. But because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had a mind to divorce her quietly. Lord, please tell me what to do. You know I only want to do what is right. You know that I deeply care for Mary and don't want to put her to shame. So I'm asking you, what shall I do? Yes, I'll clear my head and lay down. But after considering this, Jesus' dad, Joseph, hears from Jesus' father, Yahweh. Then an angel of the Lord appears to Joseph in a dream and said, Joseph, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take Mary home as thy wife. For what is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to say what God said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Lord, I will do as you say and obey. As Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. Joseph and Mary had faced many obstacles. However, they had complete confidence in God Almighty and the mess and angel's message that he sent. As a result, with God Almighty, Joseph and Mary were able to face and persevere all obstacles. So like Joseph and Mary, if we obey, if we trust, and if we believe in God Almighty, he will give us the confidence and the strength to persevere through any obstacles that come in our path. Yeah. Scripture says that Joseph did not consummate his marriage until Mary gave birth to a son. And Joseph indeed gave him the name, Jesus
que eu quero é 